What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're using one of the coolest new Gen 8 Pokemon, Obstacle. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, get on top of that. It only takes two seconds of you guys' time. All you gotta do is scroll down just a little bit, click that big red subscribe button. It's like a box, it says subscribe on it. Yeah, click that one. Click that one. But yeah, we're using Obstagoon today, and Obstagoon is such a cool book. It really is. It doesn't get that much love on the rank ladder, so hopefully we get some wins with it and get the rock out with that. But let's get started here with today's team. Preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Regiram, our first restricted mod for the squad with the Turbo Blaze ability, alongside with the safety goggles as item. We're rocking Earth Power, Protect, and then two stab moves, Fusion Flare, and Jumping. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be our lovely Ice Rider Calyrex, one of the best trickering Pokemons in the whole game with the Aswan ability alongside with the weakness policy. Glacial Lance, High Horse Power, Protect, and Trick Room to get that Trick Room rolling. Middle left is going to be Mimikyu. Mimikyu is really good at setting up the Trick Room and procking a policy for a Calyrex. We got Taunt to Taunt Posing Support Mons, will o -Wisp to burn physical attackers, Shadow Sneak to proc that policy, and last but not least, Trick Room over there. Obviously, we got, we got the Disguise as its ability, and then we're rocking the Mental Herb as an item, so this Pokemon cannot be taunted. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Defiant Obstacle. It really counters Intimidate Pokemon like Incineroar and Landorus, and also it has a Room Service as its item. So whenever it's in Trick Room, its speed is going to lower, making them super fast in Trick Room. So really works well. Really works well. We got Knock Off Take Off Items, Ice Punch for our coverage move, Close Combat for another coverage move, and then last but not least, we're rocking Obstruct. Bottom left-hand corner is the one and only ability. Great Pokemon for any single team, and it works well in most situations. We have the Grassy Surge for Terrain Control, Assault Vest to soak up some shots, and then we're rocking Grassy Glide, Knock Off, U-Turn, and Fake Out. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be the Kai Ogre Counter. It is going to be Gaston. Storm Drink Gaston with the Citrus Berry as an item. We're rocking Earth Power, Recover to get some HP back, Yawn to put Pokemon to sleep, and last but not least, we're rocking Protect. I really do like this Gaston moveset, but I always like having Scald on it. I always like rocking Scald with it, but this works just fine. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Obstagoon Series 12 team. First battle coming at you guys. Let's get this video started off with a win. We're going up against eight Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team, so pretty similar to ours. It also has the Rhyperior, the Torkoal, and the Kai Ogre combo as well. So we gotta watch out for that. But how should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like leading a Pokemon like, like Rillaboom could be solid. Rillaboom and Obstagoon could be pretty good because Rillaboom counters that, uh, that Kyogre right there. And then we can fake out other Pokemon as well. I'm really kind of digging that. We definitely have to bring in a Trick Room Mons, such as uh, Calyrex and Regiram. So I think we're just going to lead Rillaboom alongside with Obstagoon. Right? Rillaboom can get some work done. I do like that. And then we also have the Obstagoon who can do, do a decent amount of damage, right? I do like Obstagoon all around. And then bring Calyrex and Regiram in the backhand. Yeah, I'm digging it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down, right? Yeah. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in bound number one. But yo, guys, I just finished. Stranger Things 4. If you guys haven't checked out that TV show, might want to get on top of that. It is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. I don't want to spoil anything, but I'm, I'm letting you guys know. If you guys haven't watched any episodes yet or anything in the, in the fourth season, get on top of that. It is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. But let's see who this guy leads. He's going to end up leading Indeedee and Calyx, which I'm cool with. I don't mind if he pops a trick room. I really do not mind if he pops a trick room. Uh, we're going to go Obstagoon and Really Real, which is totally fine. And hopefully the Psychic Surge comes out first, but I'm pretty sure the Grass Turn will come out first. Right? Cause I would love my terrain. I would love my terrain. We're not allowed to munch on berries. My terrain comes out first. Dang it. So second surge is gonna be poking out here, which is which is fine. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. I could hard swap, which I think I think I'm gonna U-turn and pivot out. U turn and pivot out into Calyrex of my own. Would probably be my best bet, because I do not want to go after or get you know put the glacial lands right. So that's probably my best bet. It's just to U-turn out, see you later, and then go from there. And from here we could obstruct. You have obstruct. Hmm. Strike is basically a protect. I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should do that or just take off. Item. I think I'm just gonna take off. Item. I think it's gonna be my play. Double down the cal action roll off from here. The follow me could poke out here. Yep, there's follow me. I think he wants to pop a trick room, which is totally fine because if he pops trick room, we're just gonna go into an ice rider cal action roll. Knockoff's gonna fly through it. Yeah, right. and that's some big damage. My boy does some big damage. So we're going to be able to U-turn out. We bring this thing down to the focus dash, and we're going to take it out. If we, we U-turn, I think he's going to go, obviously, into a uh, trick room, right? And then our room service will pop alongside with We bring out our Calyrex, and we can Dynamax him. So that did some big old damage for no reason. For no reason. What's this thing's speed right now? I want to see Obstagoon's speed right now. So it's 115. I wonder where what it goes to when it's uh 
with room service. Does it half it? Like, what, what does that do? What does that do? Because this thing obviously got to be popping chicken, right? Unless he's going into a glacial lance. I kinda, I'm kind of curious to see what, he, what, what he's going to do here. He popping, he's got to be popping the room. He's got to be rooming it up. Yeah, okay. He pops the room. The trick room, that's totally fine. We got the uh, the room service lower, option speed, and then Calyrex is already slowed up. Then look at this, yo. Room service is coming in hot. Speed falls. How much does it fall? Is it minus two? I can definitely check the speed stat. I can definitely check the speed. I think it falls. It seems like it only fell one stage. Let's see. So Tor mm. Torkoal's gonna come out here. <laughs> That's a problem. Torkoal's a problem. Torkoal is a problem. That's a huge problem. Huge problem. Let me, let me see this thing speed. Let me see this thing speed. So if I go into info, we got Ops control in here. It's only minus one. That's tough because both these Pokemon are still gonna be faster. Than them. I feel like we shouldn't die in actually. right? I don't know. That's, that's this one's too tough. This one's too tough. I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna have to save for my Reggie. My Reggie's gonna have to stay here, and Eruption's gonna fly. Oh my lord! Bye bye, Calyrex. Right? Obstacle survives. Obstacle. Can you go next? Actually, there's no way. He goes. This is so tough. Torkoal in Trick Room is is insanely strong. Glacial Lance gonna. Oh my lord! I hate this game. And now we're sitting in such a tough position. Cause now we have Robin. I mean, we can fake out. Fake out is solid, and we're gonna have to Dynamax Reggie. Reggie, Reggie, you're gonna have to come in here for Dynamax. And uh, what do we do? I think we double down to this Torkoal. I don't know, man. This game <laughs> is doing me so dirty. Doing me so dirty. So I'm gonna have to place both these guys. I have to fake out this turn. And wow, that that's rough. That is rough, dude. Like Torkoal and and Calyrex just in Trick Room, Eruption, Glacial Lance. Like, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I just don't know what to do. All right, so he has to protect one of these guys. He might Dynamax the the Cali. I mean, I have a problem with both these guys. I really do. Both these Pokemon are huge problems for us. I mean, I can fake out the Torkoal. That's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of just flaring and finishing off this Calyrex. And then just faking out the Torkoal. my play. Because he's not going to Dynamax the Torkoal, right? I think he would Dynamax the, the Calyrex before anything. Right? We're hoping he's Dynamax the Calyrex here. And then hopefully we can yeah, it is going to be Calyrex. I feel like if we get off this flare, we should be able to just rip onto it. But I don't know, man. I do not know. This thing is... This Calyrex is plus one. He's going to do some big old damage. He might just take out my Robin. Unless he's guarding. Hopefully he's not max guarding. That could, that could be real ugly. That could be real ugly. But yeah, this uh, this this first battle's not looking too hot for you. It's not looking too hot. My boy Opsune did some work turn one. But that knockoff just slapped up on Indeedee. That thing didn't have focus action would have dropped out. But still... Still, he popped that trick room and then eruption glacial lands. That, that combo is OP in trick room with these Pokemon. It's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. So we're gonna drop a nice little fake out. No guards come out, no protects. That's totally fine. We're gonna make this little turtle flinch. And what are you going for over here? Hailstorm? He's gonna quake. He is gonna quake, and I wonder if we can still KO. I don't think we can. I don't think we can. So we are able to eat up, but this one's gonna be cutting close. Come on, yo. Give me a crit or something. We are it's it's stab, it's super effective. He is plus one on special offense. But still, it's in the heat, too. Come on, get off some big damage. Take this thing out. No, not even close. Not even close. Even if he had the, uh, even if he had the boost, or without the boost, he still would have been able to heal. That is rough. That is rough. How many turns are left? That's the real question. This, this, is, this is no good. This is no good. We know the eruption's coming in hot. We know we're going to be getting done dirty. Just trying to think of ways we could potentially win this. How many turns left to trick him? Two. The guard wouldn't even do anything for us. The guard wouldn't even do anything for us. So, you know, we're just going to th throw this. We're going to go for a grassy glide. And just, just try just try to get off as much damage as we possibly can. But yeah, it's pretty much over. It is pretty much over with. Because this guy's just going to erupt. And he's going to say GG's. Dude, first battles I have not been doing well in. I have not been doing well in first battles. Been rough for us. Eruption's going to fly out here. And there it is, right? Robum goes out. Calyx is going to go next. Another Max Quake. That's going to be GG. So, we're going to start off 0-1 for today's video. Let's hop into our second. And let's grab ourselves a first win for today. Look what we're going up against in battle number two. The exact same team I used in my last video. So, yo, this guys, if you're a viewer of my videos, shout out to you, man. Shout out to you. But if not, I'm going to have to beat you. I'm going to have to beat you. But we're hopping into our second battle. Like I said, going up against the same team that we used in our last video, Mewtwo and Zoro. All right, how am I playing this one? How am I going into it? I feel like Trick Room just really works in our favor. Really, really well, right? Trick Room does work well. He does have Trick Room on the Mewtwo, but his team's rather slow. And my team's 
or not rather slow. It's rather like mid, but my team's rather rather slow. So I'm gonna go Mimikyu. Alongside with, I feel like Robum could just be solid. We could take some nice terrain control. We kind of rock out from there. So I, I do dig it. I do dig it. So I, th I feel like Robum and Mimikyu is a great lead. Bring Calyrex in the back end. Then do we go Obscoon? Or do we rock out with Reggie? Reggie's nice, but Obscoon's fun to use though. <laughs> Reggie's nice, but Obscoon's cool. Uh, who, who do I go into? Hmm. Kind of leaning towards a bit more Reseram, right? Lean a bit more towards Reshiram. I do like Reshiram. So, you know what? We're going to lock in Reshiram. We're going to lock it down. I'm not worried about my uh, that Kyogre. I'm not going to bring my Storm Dream Gashon in for that Kyogre because we have Rollaboom. We have Rollaboom. But, yeah, yo, second battle, we need to grab ourselves some winner because there's nothing worse than hopping into a third and final battle being 0-2. That is rough. But this guy has 10 seconds to pick, and he locked it in. Locked it in. I wonder who he's going to lead. Could go Zoro. We got to watch out for that little illusion Zoro. Could definitely do us dirty, but we have to pop a Trick Room. Like, Trick Room is an absolute must come out here. It'll trick him. He could go into the... Uh, that would probably be his best bet, the Mewtwo combo. Would be powerful. Mewtwo and Didi? Let's see what he does. I'm going to go in Didi and Kyogre. Okay. In Didi Kyogre isn't too bad. We do have that disguise. Um, I do have Grassy Glide ready to roll, and I feel like that's just going to be a play all day, right? Roll straight into a Grassy Glide. Actually, oh, we have our terrain right off the rip, so we can fake out. Cool. Cool. We can fake out. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. So I'm just going to fake out the Ndidi, right? Because there's no shoddy Dynamaxes in it. I feel like we just fake out in DD and then kind of roll into uh, roll into a free trick room, right? Yeah, and then we go from there. Because we have the terrain. We have the terrain set up all day. And he might Dynamax Kyogre, so I'm not going to fake out. We could swap the Kyogre as well. We pose a lot of different threats. We, po we pose a lot of different threats. So trick room's going to come out here. I am going to pop a little bit of a fake out action onto the Ndidi. And we're just going to roll from there. So solid first turn for us. Solid first turn for us. And he withdraws Kyogre anyway. That's beautiful. We take it all day. Mewtwo's going to come in hot. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. We popping, we popping rooms full of tricks. Rooms full of tricks. Then I can take off his uh, life orb because I know exactly what item is. Right. The fake guy's gonna come out here. He flinches. We're popping the trick. Trick room. Yeah, yeah. Run it up. Run it up. Thing is going to get some HP back from the grass terrain, and we're just gonna go from there. What I really want to do is like you turn out, but at the same time I kind of just want to taunt this thing, which is exactly what we do. I'm gonna taunt and I'm. Do I knock off? I gotta get rid of this orb. I gotta get rid of this orb. Let's see what he goes into. He does follow me. Son of a biscuit. So he's gonna pop a trick in this turn. Uh, which is fine. Which is fine. He's gonna pop a trick in this turn. He's gonna counter up on my trick room. I'm kinda cool with that. We're gonna do a little bit of knock off. And then we're just gonna to taunt onto the Indeed. The taunt's gonna come out here. And at this point, what do I do? What do I do? Is he pop a trick room? He is. Yeah. So he's gonna counter my trick room with the trick room. And at this point, he's forced to attack. He is forced to attack. And I don't know if a grass guy can actually take that. It's going to be cutting it close. It's going to be cutting it close. So what I could do here is uh, double down into this thing. No, we can't. Shadow Seek doesn't hit it. I'm going to go for another Trick Room. What's going to do more damage? Grass guy might do more damage. And we do get first turn priority, which is solid. I'm going to go for the grass guy. Maybe try to pick up a KO here. I don't know what does more damage. He's going to withdraw the meat. Okay, dude, that's a solid turn for us. So we're popping another trick room here. That's totally that I'm, I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Because Grass Guy's gonna fly here and we get off trick room again. So Grass Guy doesn't pick up the KO, but it comes close. It comes close. He's gonna expand it for us. We'll pop another trick room. That's fine. That's fine. He's gonna take off my disguise. Oh, dude, I'm with this all day. I'm with this all day. Give this to me. Give this to me. Because Kyogre's gotta protect next turn. We're sitting here with the terrain. I'm gonna U-turn out. I'm gonna U-turn out and I'm going to. What do I do on top of this? Hmm. See, I don't know. Not know. I have to go after Indeed. There's no way Kyogre stays in with this on the field, right? There's no way Kyogre stays in with this on the field. But you know, I'm just gonna shadow sneak in him, chip up some damage, and I'm just gonna you turn out. That's gotta be my play, because Kyogre's gotta protect, right? Dude, I have a grassy glide robum chilling on the field. I'm surprised he went back into that. The Shrick is back on the field. Shrick is back on the field in full effect. I feel like he might swap back. You gonna swap back, kind sir. As long as he's not ripping into me with a water spout, that could be ugly. That could be ugly if, you, if he's going for a water spout. That will be my one problem here. That would definitely be a problem. But let's see. Let's see what. Let's just let's just see what he's gonna do. He's gonna withdraw in DD. So he withdraws in DD, and what's he gonna do with Kyogre? Oh wait a minute. He's illusioning me. Which one's the real Kyogre? I should have known it. Drizzle was not poking out. <laughs> so this one's the real Kyogre that we're, and that one's the Zoric over there. Okay. Now oh, I understand. Throwing me off, dude. Throwing me off over here. That's cool. I'm cool with this. So now we have Trick Room out and about. 
And I get to go into my uh my calorex at this point. I actually get some work done. Okay, that was that was, that, was, that was ridiculous right there. I was like, what is going on? What is going on? We go into calorex here. I could stay and just drop a glacial lens. Oh, I don't really know what I want to do here. Hmm. I definitely don't want to shadow sneak. I kinda just want to Will-O-Wisp burn the uh the Zoroak and kinda go from there. I feel like that's gonna be your play. Then we could quake. We could definitely quake. This thing's gonna turn out. So is he proc policy? Okay, cool. Yeah, so he's gonna pop my policy. That's huge. That is huge. So he's gonna he's gonna policy pop me. I'm with that all day. Let's roll out. Hopefully he's not going into Indeedy. Indeedy could be tough news for us. Indeedy could definitely be tough news for us. Because I can't hit it. I cannot like do a shadow sneak or anything into it. He's gonna go into Indeedy, right? Go into Mewtwo. Oh uh, dude, that Zoroak illusion definitely throw me off. But at least we were able to chip up some damage onto that uh that Kyogre. I do dig it. And cool, he goes into Mewtwo. He's gonna roll out into Mewtwo. I feel like I have to go after. Who do I go after? It's tough. It's tough, but I'm definitely gonna Dynamax. I think I'm just gonna change up weather with Calyrex and go after Mewtwo. That's probably my best bet. Probably my best bet and just Shadow Sneak into Kyogre slot. Yeah, chip up damage with you. And then just roll straight into a Max Hailstorm. Get rid of the weather. Get off some damage on the Mewtwo. We have weakness policy proc. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Get the Pokemon out of you. The field. Mewtwo, Kyogre, Calyrex? And then he just got Mimikyu on my team. But still, yo, look at these Pokemon. Look at these Pokemon. I do love having restricted mods in the format. It's cool, but we definitely need a little change up. We definitely need a change up. But I, I, I've been told that this is going to be the how it's going to be until the new Pokemon game comes out. I mean, which isn't bad. I feel like hopefully they give us like a little bit of a change up. They do something a little different, but it's fine. So he's going to hard swap. He's going to hard swap uh, Mewtwo. And indeed, he's coming back out here. And we're gonna do some damage on that. Thing. We are indeed gonna do some damage on the indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Why do I think we had more damage off on that Pokemon than we, than we already had? I don't know why. And I don't know why, but we should be able to just dump on uh, indeed here, change up the weather, chip up some damage on the Kyogre with the uh, Shadow Sneak, and I think we should be. I think we should be should be fine. Here. We might Dynamax though. He's gonna Dynamax. So he's gonna Dynamax here. I think he's just gonna go for guys and change back up weather, but. Man, I think we're fine. I do think we're fine here. I do think we're fine. Hopefully he takes out my Mimikyu. My Mim Mims. My Mim 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 Mims. My Mim 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 Mims. So he's gonna chip up some damage with Kyogre. I'm gonna do- I'm gonna take out Indeedy no problem. And we should be fine. So Shadow Sneak pokes out here. A little bit of damage, not bad. And Hailstorm's gonna fly through here. We're gonna say bye-bye Indeedy. And more importantly, we get rid of this weather, so his geyser isn't gonna do like a ridiculous amount of damage onto my uh, one of my Calyrex. But we're hoping that he just goes after uh, Mimikyu. I might, I might hard swap this turn. That was Zoroku. What is going on here? What's going on? See, this is... I, I thought... I thought that I, I did more damage on the Indeedy. I knew Indeedy was, like, low. I knew Indeedy was low. Oh, my God. This is crazy. But he's going to Geyser. I got to pay attention to the, uh, the abilities at that point. He's going to Geyser, and my boy's going to be able to circle. Really. That's gorgeous. That's a gorgeous turn. He changed the weather back. I think we have to change it up again. Okay. Okay, I'm not really worried about the Kyogre. I think I'm just going to keep targeting down the left slot. Keep changing the weather. Because I have Roboom in the back end, and that kind of can just eat up the Kyogre. You have lovely little Roboom in the back end. And then I do have Reshiram for once Trick Room kind of ends. Kind of, not really, because he does have Mewtwo in the back end. And Indeedee, but Indeedee, I'm not really too worried about. The follow me could do me. Now he goes into Indeedee, and Sex Search going to poke here. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Burn the Kyogre. I guess we're gonna go, gonna go burn the Kyogre. So we are burning the Kyogre. What would be better for us? Changing up weather or special defense boost? What would be better for us? The weather's nice. I kind of want the weather. I kind of can't allow him to really have the weather, you know? I think that weather boost is would be better than a special defense boost. So yeah, I'm gonna just gonna change up weather because again, I think Follow Me can come out here and he just wants to protect Kyogre all day. And we're just gonna helping hand. Wow, just gonna helping hand. That's fine. We're changing up weather again. So we can eat up whatever shot he has to offer. That's totally fine. We're chilling. They boost it, and we're gonna get rid of him. So yeah, we're just gonna slowly start chipping away on these Pokemon. He's gonna have to bring out Mewtwo. Um, then I have one more turn left in Dynamax, which is solid. One more lovely little turn left in Dynamax. Chilling is boost. We're plus four. We are plus four on the board. And Willow is going to come out here. And we just connect it just, just, just to get off some damage. Because we can't we can't obviously uh, go into a uh, Shadow Sneak because the terrain 
But now he's gonna drop a geyser. Can you go after my uh Mimikyu? No, he goes after Calyx. Calyx gonna be able to Wow, I thought we were dead. I thought we were dead. That did a lot more damage than I thought it would. So he changes up weather. Thank god we changed up weather. Thank god we changed up weather. Burn's gonna slowly chip away. And I think we have one more turn left in Trick him, right? I think we have one more turn left in Trick him, which is huge because we have one more turn left in Dynamax. He's gonna bring out Mewtwo. So Mewtwo is flying out here. Do I just throw a burn on that thing? Like, I don't know what to do. Let's see how many turns left. Sure. One, it is one. And I don't think he's... Is he rocking protect? I don't think he's rocking protect. So this just should just be free turns for us, right? It should just be free turns for us. He's not rocking protect. I'm just going to drop a hailstorm. Actually, I'd rather get special defense boost at this point. Or do I change back up weather? I think we just force him to change up weather, right? Because I'm trying to think of the moves that he had. He has Psy Strike, a Thunder move, Trick Room, and a Fire move, I believe. So, yeah, I feel like going into Mewtwo is just 100% the call here. Probably should have went through a Hailstorm, but we should be fine KO in this thing. Whatever. Or did I go into a Hailstorm? I don't even know. I don't even know what I clicked, but we're plus four, and we should just be able to wipe Mewtwo off the face of the planet here. Why'd I go for a Shadow Sneak? I, I totally forgot about the terrain, even though I said it last turn. But Hailstorm's going to come out here. We're going to dump on Mewtwo, and this should be GG's. This should be GG's because Mewtwo's obviously dead here. Kyogre's going to take me out, but I have, like I've been saying, Rillaboom in the back end to counter that Kyogre. So that's why I've just been letting Kyogre do his own thing. I've just been letting Kyogre just like float around, swim around, do his own thing. Because once I get out this Rillaboom and his Dynamax is over, it's just a straight grass guide right to his teeth, and he's dead. It's GG's. Get this thing out of here. He's going to drop a Lightning, and he's going to go after Mimikyu at this point. And that's even a worse idea because now both my... Oh, now we can sweep. Now we can sweep. We love it. We love it. Now we're going to get the sweep. Actually, maybe not. Just, ooh, because Trick Room does end. He's going to pick up the double kill. But still, he's dead. Like, we won this match. Hopefully, he cancels and we get the sweep. But I think his plan here was to just chip up damage. He knows Trick Room ends. And then he's going to roll into, like, an Origin Pulse or a uh, Water Spout. Pick up the double kill and go from there. But still, then I just bring out Roll. Then I just bring out Roll. Because that's all, I, all we need is one straight grass guy to his teeth. To this little thing's teeth. But, yo, I'm hoping he runs because, you know, I'd rather have the sweep under my belt. We still have all four of our Pokemon, but Shadow Snake's gonna poke. And if I can get off the uh, high horsepower, I'd rather get off the high horsepower, but we'll see. We shall see. Just cancel battle. Cancel battle. No, he doesn't. We don't get the sweep. Get out my face. Get out my face. We're not gonna be able to get the sweep. That's rough news. He's gonna drop a water spout. That's an easy double kill for him. Easy double kill. He's fighting for his life, but once this little gorilla comes out here, he's gonna be like, oh, God. I, he might have forgot about it, to be honest with you. He might have forgot about it, because I do dumb stuff like that all the time. Like you just saw, I forgot about the Psychic Terrain. Even though the turn before that was just like, I cannot Shadow Sneak, there's the Psychic Terrain. So, that's exactly what happened. Chipping up with some burn damage, and we this is all we need. Can we can we just like, release Reshiram, just tell him to go home? <laughs> we don't need him. We don't need him. Robum comes out here, this guy's like, oh, come on. This guy's like, oh, come on, I forgot about this guy, dude. And then Reshiram's gonna fly out here, and this is, like I said, GG's, we're starting off 1-1. One one. Now we can hop to our third and final battle. Look for that perfect record. Or not perfect record. We look for a winning record. But like I've been saying, I've been doing so like bad in battle number one. But battle number two and three, I've been buzzing. I've just been playing so much better in battle number two and three. I feel like my first battle is my warm-up battle. But yeah, we're just going to straight up Grass God here. I'm going to go for Draco Meteor. And I think our opponent cancels, right? Cancel battle? Does not cancel. Wow, dude, this guy's relent relentless. Relentless. There's the Grass God that I've been saying. He's going to dump on the thing. And there it is. Final battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a Chandelure in Prison Trick Room team. I feel like Chandelure is only there to counter Trick Room. And then he also has the Zapdos, the Rillaboom Groudon with no, like, sun support. And then Grimmsnarl Resurim. Okay, how should I go with this one? How should I play? I feel like I really want to pop Trick Room, but then I can't. But then I cannot. Actually, I could go Mimikyu and roll straight into a Taunt if he wants to do that. So, you know, I'm going to go Rillaboom. And I might go Opscreen here because Opscreen could just take off items turn one and kind of get it for the battle. Right? I'm digging that. Obscoon, Calyrex, Reshiram. Let's run it. Let's run it. Let's run it. So if he goes in the channel for in prison, I think I'm just going to taunt it and say, hey, yo, knock that off. That's not happening. But then if he doesn't, I feel like we just, we just pop a trick room, right? We just pop a trick room. A lovely little trick room. But I feel like this battle is going to be tough for us. The channel is kind of kind of looking like it's going to do me dirty. It's kind of looking like it's going to do me dirty, but we'll see. We shall see. But yeah, we're one and one We got to grab ourselves a winning record here. Let's see who he ends up leading. Grimstar and Reshiram. So cool. We're just going to straight up pop a Trick Room. We're going to get rolling out from there. Trick Room. And I think we're going to take off item for Reshiram. Would that be my call? Would that be my call? To take out off that item for Reshiram? Or do we just straight up like try to get off some big damage? But yeah, Trick Room's 100% must. Trick Room into... Uh, yeah, let's take off this item. 
get rid of this item on Res Ram because if I had to guess, it might be the orb. Let's see what he does. He's gonna die to Max Storm. So we're hoping like Grim Snarl goes into like a screen of some sort or like fakes out my option because I, I just need to get off the trick. Actually, wait a minute. Can Res Ram hit through abilities? Can Res Ram hit through abilities? I think it might be able to. This could be bad for us. This could be real bad for us. See what he does. He is gonna set up a reflect. Can you hit through abilities? Why do I feel like it can? I know Kyurem can. I'm scared. Knockoff's gonna come out here. We're gonna take off his item, which is huge. What is it? The orb? It's weakness policy. Okay, so weakness policy is gonna come out here and he's gonna flare. He's gotta hit through abilities, right? Yeah. And Mimi eats. Mwah. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Mimikyu eats that. Which is huge. That is huge. And Trick Room's coming out. So to answer my own question, yes, he can hit through abilities, but Mimikyu's just too much of a bulk. Trick Room comes out here. We're low on our speed. Let's get rolling. Let's get rolling here. Uh, from here, you know what? We could just... uh, Actually, he's Prankster. We cannot taunt him. It's kind of rough. Actually, no. Can't, we can't taunt him, but he's... Uh, no, he's Dark type. Oh, no, 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 no. We, we, we can taunt him. We can taunt him. We can taunt him. I, I got it. We're chilling. And I could Ice Punch. Look for do I want to do? I think I'm just going to take off Grim Snarl's item. Hey, I'm just going to obstruct here. I'm just going to obstruct. Put up a little protect here. I am obstructing. I'm saying, hey, yo, knock it off. Not dealing with it. Not dealing with it. He's going to go for a spirit break. That's fine. He's going to take out Mimikyu, right? And Mimikyu doesn't even get off that taunt. Oh, no, I still have my disguise. That's huge. I still have my disguise. But are we going to die to disguise damage? It's scary. Survive this. I think we died of disguise damage. Oh, Mims! I love you, Mims. I love you, Mims. So we do get off the taunt. It's enormous. <laughs> Mims! Loving it. Flare's gonna come out here. You're gonna be able to soak that up. Thank you, Obstruct. And we're gonna, we're gonna start wasting out these Dynamax turns. We're gonna start wasting out these Dynamax turns. So from here, you know, I'm just gonna Shadow Sneak. Chip up some damage onto you. And then, uh... Hmm. Let's go for close combat, right? Get off as much damage as I can. Because once these Pokemon go out here, we're going to bring out our, our, our strong boys. And we're going to get rolling from there. The Shadow Sneak's going to do as much damage as we possibly can. We're going to close combat across. Uh, he chipping up a little bit of damage there. Really doing nothing. And our defense can drop. So he's going to pick up the easy double kill. We still have Trick Room for two, three more turns? Two, three more turns? Something along those lines. Maybe three. Three would be obviously our best bet. And then we can roll into Calyrex. We can kind of get after the battle that because he's done with his Dynamax. I can legit just max quick straight in. Cool. Cool. So he's dead all day. That's fine. You guys did your job. You guys did a wonderful job. Especially you, Mimikyu. Mimikyu was just soaking. Soaking up that flare. Using his disguise. Getting off a taunt. So he does not have a light screen. He does have a lovely little flare. Scary. So I can bring out Reggie. Alongside with Cali Cali. Cali Cali Rex. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. So he's boosted on special defense, but like I said, no light screen out. No light screen out. And we're gonna Dynamax to Calyx. So Calyx can come out here with a big old Dynamax. Uh, do we change up weather? Or do we just go for that special defense boost? I'm thinking I'm thinking we just go for that special defense boost. Straight up Max Quake into him. Even though weather could be gorgeous. But weather is gonna help us out with a, with a fusion flare. This is tough. This is real tough. This is real tough. That's a huge move. That is a huge move. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here. And I could protect this turn. I'm going to Dynamax. I'm going to Dynamax Quake. I'm going to Dynamax Quake. He has plus... Or no, he has that Reflect, which I'm scared of. Like, I cannot... Like, I don't think I can afford for this uh, Resuram to eat up this Quake. I don't know if I can afford that. So we're going to hope... We can pick up this big time KO because, like I said, this is a big time KO. If we KO this Resuram here and allow him not to get off of a Fusion Flare, I feel like uh, we win this battle pretty easily. But the Fusion Flare should be able to dump on Grimstone, no problem. See how this one plays out here. So, Quake's gonna come out here. We are gonna get a special defense boost onto this, which is huge, but we need the KO here. Big time KO, come on. Let's go. Let's go, Cali. Cali Rex getting worked on. Oh, a crit. Wow. Yo, you guys let me know in the comment section down below. Would that have killed without a crit? I don't know. It would have been kind of close because it's not stab. It is not stab. But yo, we take that all day. We get special defense boost and then we get our chilling nade boost, which will boost our physical attack. And then Reg Ram should be able to get off some nice damage here. He's going to spirit break me, but still. 
though. Spirit Break's gonna chip up a little bit of damage. More importantly, get that special attack job. But I still feel like this uh, this lovely little fusion player is just gonna with the drought out and about. Just cool. Just like look at that move. Look at that move. It does not take him out. Wow. I don't, I don't think it was taking him out with the what's it called anyway. With that special attack drop either. Wow. It, that did some big damage. That did some big damage. But let's see who he throws out here. Zip Zap. So Zip Zap's going to come out here. Zip Zap might protect. Zip Zap might protect. You know what? I'm just going to go into another Fusion Flare. And I'm just going to drop a Hailstorm. I'm going to drop this Hailstorm. I think Zap is going to protect, but still. But with that, he's just trying to waste out these Trick Returns, I believe. But if he doesn't protect, he's dead. We'll take it all day. He doesn't protect. He's dead. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. So he's dead. I'm surprised he didn't protect. Wow. Gone. Get him out of here. Beautiful. Like I said, yo, once if, if I got rid of that res ram, I feel like we have this win in the bag. I think we have one more turn left in trick room. If not, we have one more turn left in diamonds. I want plus two on attack. So we're just ripping in the Pokemon. Dude, trick room Calyrex is just it's just another level. It's just another level. Another spear breaks in a fly through here. That's fine. Res ram's gonna go minus two. But I feel like this fusion flare, maybe with the buffet damage, can get it done. Hopefully. Hopefully. Let's see. We shall see. Fusion Flare coming in hot. No, Buffet damage is not going to be able to take that. But the next Buffet will. So, Grimson, I'm not really worried about you. Actually, next next Buffet will not. No more Trick Room, though. No more Trick Room, which is a little rough. That actually makes Reservoir faster than Grimson. So, I do dig that. And Robum's going to come out. Yo, get this, get this game. This is game. Get him on out of here. Get this dude on out of here. GG's. Your boy's going to win. Your boy's going to win. He's probably going to fake out maybe Reservoir, but it's all good. It is all good because, you know, I'm just going to drop a Fusion Flare. And I'm just gonna go into a hailstorm. GG's, man. Two and one for today's video. I told you guys from the start, battle number ones have been rough for me. They really have been rough for me. But battle number two and three, we've been absolutely rolling out and dominating with. He's gonna thunder wave me, and this is actually like a last ditch effort here. He's gonna need some paralyzes from him. Resurrect flinches, and Calyrex still goes. Get him on at it. Get him on out of my face. Riddle boom, gone. Dumped on, gone. Now we're plus three, dude. Cattle action trick. It's just okay. It really is. Especially once you get like one KO, it kind of just starts to be a snowball effect because he gets stronger, stronger, stronger. He's just dumping on everything left and right. But we played that one really, really well by, uh, by what's it called? By wasting out his Dynamax turns early on. He would have had the upper hand if, uh, he would have been able to take out Mimikyu, but no. But my Mimikyu bolt. My Mimikyu bolt. My boy bolt. But he's down the Grimstone, red HP. I'm just going to drop a nice little Fusion Flare. And then roll into an obviously great Glacial Lance. And that's going to be GG's. I think he just quits the battle. And we get ourselves a, a winning record for today's video, right? Does not cancel battle. These guys are relent relentless today. But at least we get to see Fusion Flare happen one more time. But there it is. Grimstarl drops out. We grab ourselves a beautiful winning record for today's video. I love me some Trick Room. Trick Room is always solid and it always prevails. We grab ourselves another winning record for today's video. More importantly, we get to show off my boy Obscum, a Pokemon that we haven't used on the rank ladder in such a long time. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.